Now we're going to talk about how to hold a person center plan meeting. Pre-meeting question for the facilitator and student. Has the planning process been discussed with the PCP team? The PCP team members are individuals who the student wants to attend. Friends, family, employers, case managers, anyone can be a part of that team. Anyone that is important to the student should be a part of the team. Do PCP team members have information on the PCP process and the time requirements? When invitations are sent out, a dis brief description can be included about what a PCP is. The facilitator with the student should determine who will um, facilitate and record during different parts of the meeting. Will it be just one person or will it be a few? The student and facilitator need to discuss where the meeting location. Is the meeting location comfortable and does it meet the space requirement needed? For instance, where will posters be hung? The student really needs to make the decision on where the meeting can occur. We've had many PCPs at restaurants, but we need to make sure it's a quiet room where discussions can be heard. So again, it is up to the student where the meeting will be held, but the facilitator can make sure it's a comfortable and it meets the requirement. Have preparations been coordinated with the focus person who is the student? Have, it, have invitations been sent out to all the members of the person the person wants? Have people been invited who are beyond the traditional team that can help the person identify a desirable future? Again, these are the important people in the student's life. What ground rules need to be set for the circle? Are there any topics, words, or phrases to be avoided during the meeting? Is the student comfortable with the process? Is there a welcoming environment? Is there food provided, flowers, balloons, anything that makes it more welcoming to everyone there? Are there markers and papers and tape ready for the meeting? Help the focus person, the student, Decide where he wants people to sit, if possible. Does the seating arrangement ensure that everyone is included and no one appears more important than the student? Set up ground rules. Use them. Ask about timelines, times people need to leave. Will breaks be needed? And if so, how often? How are copies of what has, has been done going to get to people? You need to determine who's going to make those copies and who's going to send them out. And when will the next meeting occur to see if progress is being made on the student's goals? Here are some common ground rules in a PCP meeting. One, everyone needs to be respectful. No jargon. No obsessing. Have fun. It begins when it begins and ends when it ends. Do unto others. If having fun doesn't work, Texas rules, be nice or get out. Listen, and I mean really listen. Ask for what you want, assistance for help to pursue questions. Contribute when moved.